In this problem, we're going to take the equation for a parabola in standard form. And if you remember, standard form looks something like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're going to put it in vertex form, which looks like y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. First thing I want to point out is the a in the standard form is the same as the a in the vertex form. So you can automatically take this number right here and rewrite your equation with that value of a in place. Okay? Very straightforward. Whatever the a is in the standard form is the a in the vertex form. Now, if you remember from this weekend's homework, we found the x coordinate of the vertex, which that's what h is. h is the x coordinate of the vertex. And we found the x-coordinate of the vertex using the equation, equation x equals the opposite of b over 2a. The x is the x that's in the equation. You need an x in the equation. Let me finish through and we'll see how that all works out. So the opposite of b over 2a is going to be the opposite of 10 over 2 times 2, which is 5 halves or negative 5 halves or negative 2.5, if you will. Decimal's okay because it ends. And if you remember from the homework, we then took this value of x, plugged it into our equation to get the y-coordinate, which is what k is. k is the y-coordinate of the vertex. So it was important to do the homework because we're going to be doing it over again and applying it to some further problem solving. y-coordinate of vertex. Well, that's going to be y equals 2 times negative 2.5 squared plus 10 times negative 2.5 plus 7. And cheating, looking at my notes, I find that y equals negative 5.5, which this y that I found is the y coordinate of the vertex. And as it relates back to our vertex form, we can replace those values now. with what we calculated them to be. The x-coordinate of the vertex, negative 2.5. Notice I had to change the sign because it's x minus the x-coordinate of the vertex. x minus negative 2.5 is positive 2.5. And then out here, we put the y-coordinate of the vertex, in this case, negative 5.5, which this should also look very familiar now to how we move the absolute value functions around where we change the sign in here with x and the absolute value function to tell us our horizontal translation and then we use this out here as our vertical translation with the sign that's exactly where we're going but this in recap is how you take an equation for a parabola in standard form and turn it into the equation for a parabola in vertex form.